Hello engineers, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to unbox and assemble the Tortoise Bot robot from Rig Battle Labs. Tortoise Bot is an educational robot that runs using ROS, Robot Operating System. It is a completely open source robot. All the hardware design and the software are freely available on GitHub to see and install. Being a mobile robot, we can do all kinds of tasks like navigation, path planning, localization, mapping and so on. This robot is made by the company Rig Battle Labs. Apart from manufacturing this tortoise bot, they also provide robot software consultancy and ROS mentorship programs. You can learn more about them from the link in the description below. Alright, enough with the introductions. Now let us get to unbox this robot. So these are all the things that we got in this package. Let's go over them one by one. Firstly, we have all the mechanical or hardware components. These are the metal and plastic spacers. These are the nuts and bolts. We have got two wheels and a caster wheel. We have also got four platforms that we are going to place our electric components on. So this is all the hardware component that we have. Now let's go over the electronics components as well. We have the RPI computer, the Raspberry Pi computer. This is going to be the brain of the tortoise bot. Then we have the RPI camera. Then we have the USB cable, probably used to power the RPI brain or the computer. Here we have the, some jumper wires. We have also got a motor driver. And this is a power distributor and a switch used to distribute power between the different electronic components. Here we have a screwdriver or a tester. Then we have this battery. It's a lithium ion 2000 mAh battery. We also have this adapter. This will probably again be used for powering the electronic components. We have two motors which we are going to use to move our robot. We also have this power display to show how much battery power we have left currently. And finally, the most expensive and the best component in this complete package, the LiDAR. We have also got some stickers that we can attach on our robot to make it pretty. Alright, so these are all the components that we have. Now we are going to assemble this to create our tortoise bot robot. Alright, so finally, after following all the instructions, we have our tortoise bot ready and running. Now let us run some basic demo applications as also given in the instructions. First, let us run the view sensors demo launch file to view the visualization of what the sensors are perceiving. So now in the RBIS window, we can see the LiDAR and the camera visualization. So if I put my hand in front of the camera, the camera is obviously going to detect the new images that it is receiving. Also to see the LiDAR, let us take this example bottle as an obstacle and place it towards the right of the robot. And as we can see, we have new LiDAR points right over here. If we move this bottle around the robot, we can see the LiDAR points move as well. Due to some reason, I was not able to run the teleoperation commands as were given in the instructions. Therefore, I am following a workaround to move the robot using these teleoperation commands. So now we have the teleoperation node running. Let's move the robot.
Now also let's try running the visualization and the tele operation commands together. The tele operation and the visualization nodes are working on two separate screens. So it is easy to focus on the visualization one. Let us now apply some advanced robotic concepts and do SLAM using this tortoise bot. SLAM stands for simultaneous localization and mapping. And using this, we are going to create a map of the environment in which the tortoise bot is placed. Then we are going to use that map to autonomously navigate in the environment. Since this is a very simple environment, the robot has already completed a partial map of its environment using the LiDAR scans. Now let's just move the robot a little bit to capture the complete map of its surroundings. So our map is now ready. Let us save this map now. Now let's load this map in a navigation application and use this robot to autonomously navigate in its environment. So here we have our map loaded. First, let us give a goal to this robot so it can go towards that. Okay, so the robot has almost made it towards that goal. Since the robot is now stuck at a very close position to the obstacle, it will not be able to move by itself. We are going to have to teleoperate the robot to move it out of the obstacle range and then again give a path to the robot so that it can follow. So the robot is now out of the obstacle range. Let us give a new goal so the robot can follow that. Once again, quite close to the goal. The reason this robot is not able to that accurately model its goal is the reason it lacks quite some sensors that help it to do so. All right, so these are all the demo applications that we can do with this robot. Let's move on to the next stage and review this product. Firstly, I would like to say that this is an amazing product and I had a really great time using it to learn about the practical aspects of ROS. Let's get into more details. The hardware that is provided is really good and the instructions to assemble the robot are also really clear. It is quite illustrative with the images they have provided and is very easy to understand.
there is one section that needs a little revision but I am sure by the time you see this video, this revision would have been made. Overall for the hardware assembly, I would like to say that this is not the project for an extreme beginner. A person who has just started out with these electronic and hardware assembly kits, they should first build very simple robots using Arduino or Raspberry Pi using the kits that are usually available online. Assembling this robot becomes quite easy if you have made those kinds of robots in the past. However, this does not mean that any beginner should not try this project. They can surely try it out but it will be a little difficult for them as it is their first time. Coming to the software, this robot uses ROS Melodic. Even though ROS Noetic is available on their online GitHub repository, however, this robot came packaged with ROS Melodic. Hence, this is a slight drawback as ROS Melodic is quite outdated nowadays. It would have been better if they had shipped this robot with ROS Noetic already installed. Moreover, Rick Battle Labs is also going to come out with its ROS2 packages of Tortoise Bot, which can also be installed later. The instructions for installing and running the software are also really clear. There is again a little bit of revision required there, but again I am sure that these revisions will be made by the time you are watching this video. Overall, I would like to say that this is an amazing product and really good for students who are out there learning ROS and want to have a practical exposure to controlling robots like this. Due to this robot being relatively cheap, there are not a lot of sensors that are installed in this robot. Therefore, due to the lack of sensors, suffers from some problems like the one that we saw in the navigation. Therefore, using this for a high grade project is quite difficult. If you would like to buy this tortoise bot, the link to that would be in the description box below. And finally, if you like the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. And thank you for watching. Bye.